The O11 basic model is divided in two sections, one addressing the access network technologies and the other um, addre addressing the um, backbone network technologies. This particular introduction is devoted to the access network technologies, which at the same time is divided into wired access technologies and wireless access technologies. This is in particular the introduction to wired access technologies. First of all, uh, let's review very quickly the concept of an access, what is an access network, because this will be useful for this introduction and for the introduction to the um, wireless access uh, networks. An access network connects the end user devices to the network. It is supposed or desirable in an efficient and economical manner. An access network is usually dedicated, but also can be shared. So the resources of an access network can be, in some cases, shared by several users. It can be uh, based on a guided media or in a wireless media. So here's where uh, it comes, the division between wired access network. We talk, uh, we are going to address in this introduction introductory presentation, and then you have wireless access networks that are based on wireless media or radio communications. Is usually the access network the part that requires more infrastructure and highest budget. This is due to the high, huge number of users that has to connect. The access plays a role of great importance from the technical point of view because it may become a bottleneck depending on the application. When you want to develop new applications, you have to take in account what kind of access network uh, are available for the end users you address this application. Finally, some examples of uh, access networks are XDSL, hybrid fiber coaxial, or Ethernet. This corresponds to the, to the group of uh, guided or wired access networks. Corresponding to the wireless access uh, networks, we have the mm, Wi-Fi, WiMAX, and also the mm, cellular phone networks. In the mm, advanced model of this uh, uh, of this uh, section, of this O O eleven, we'll discuss also about uh, fiber access, fiber fiber. fiber access network, fiber to the home, fiber to the neighborhood, etc. So this introduction is in particular devoted to SDSL, subscriber loop, uh, based on subscriber loop or the copper twisted pair is the usual uh, access uh, medium that uh, was used in the plain telephone service. And we also discuss the hybrid fiber coaxial networks which are derived from the uh, cable TV networks more typical from US and north of Europe than other uh, parts like Mediterranean countries and so on. Let's start by XDSL. XDSL is a whole family of technologies for data transmission over Cooper pairs, uh, which is refers to XDSL, where X is replaced starting in each case by a letter that distinguish uh, different modes, working modes. A, for instance, ADSL corresponds to a asynchronous digital subscriber loop, and S, SDSL corresponds to synchronous digital subscriber loop. In general, XDSL is a set of technologies that provide high bandwidth over the subscriber loop without requiring signal amplifiers or repeaters. Repeaters along the route of the wiring connection between the client and the local telephone exchange. So the distance between the client and the, this local telephone exchange is critical to provide um, high bit rate. This is the typical architecture of digital subscriber loop, XD, XDSL, where we can distinguish a computer, telephone. The computer is connected to a modem. Modem and the telephone are connected through 
a splitter to the central uh, office or the local exchange office of the internet service provider. There we have another splitter that uh, uh, separates the telephone signal or analog uh, voice signal from the data that is uh, derived to the DSLAN, which uh, stands for Digital Subscriber LAN Access Multiplexer, a set of modems that demodulates the information, uh, data information uh, from the user. And this the DSLAN is directly connected through a backbone network to Internet. Let's uh, say a few words about one of the most famous uh, XDSL techniques, which is the uh, ADSL. ADS ADSL stands, as we have said, uh, for asymmetric digital subscriber line. is an important variant of DSL. With ADSL, ADSL, most of the data bandwidth is devoted to sending data downstream towards the user and a smaller proportion uh, of the bandwidth is available for sending data upstream from the user towards the towards the service provider. This scenario, of course, suits perfectly internet browsing, but not other applications. Why? Because uh, internet browsing typically involves much more downstream than upstream data. Uh, here you have a list of uh, standards that I uh, recommend you to to check through internet. So this is just a list, uh, it doesn't need more comments. And then the other in, um, wired access network we are going to discuss more in depth here in this section is the hybrid fiber coaxial. Fiber, fiber coaxial is a network that is typically fiber optic uh, access network connected from the backbone network. And then at the when reaching the um, the block of users then the for instance the the medium is changed from fiber to the coaxial this is the typical architecture in this picture you can see it that uh, it's um, derived from the cable tv services in some countries very famous in fact this is a very dis descriptive uh, picture that uh, shows that this can be like a, a TV service obtained from an uh, antenna in the header of the network. This antenna distributes uh, information of the signal to several buildings. Like you received the commercial TV in your building using um, a shared uh, medium, which is typically coaxial. Right? Here we have more than one building, and in particular, the antenna uh, re receiving the information, in this case, are seen and transmitted in the header of the network, it has been substituted by a fiber. So, the evolution of the MAC protocols uh, of this uh, network, this hybrid fiber coaxial network, uh, it's easy to to see that this network, uh, all the users are uh, sharing, all the users of several buildings are sharing the the same coaxial coming from the main fiber. So the the key protocol here is the MAC protocol. In here we have three generations: the first one, which is proprietary; the second one, which is uh, based on MCNS or DOCSIS, and finally the third generation is sponsored by IEEE, which includes or adopts the IEEE 802.14 uh, protocol. <coughs> Again, William Stalling's book uh, can complement this uh, information, and uh, the this uh, section will include two more videos, one devoted to um, more specifically addressing the details and characteristics of XDSL networks, and the other going through more in detail to the hybrid uh, fiber coaxial networks. 
also includes uh, some videos we you have some videos available that we have obtained by uh, from youtube that we recommend you to uh, watch this presentation has been prepared by a uh, material has been prepared by Herman Santos, Josep Soleparetta and the narrator is the later one, Josep Soleparetta.